What is going on guys? Look no further than Workhorse for a potential next up candidate for a massive short squeeze. They have an over 40% short interest. So we're going to be going over everything Workhorse from the latest news developments, the technical analysis, the data behind Workhorse, and why I do think they could be the next short squeeze candidate now they did recently lose the ups contract and that is why they were really down in the dirt and short sellers took a massive advantage of this but the company that did get the contract you guys really just have to see this for yourself because they have been down every time workhorse is going up so i think it'll be very very good the only thing that i do ask in exchange for this video is that you tap tickle touch or smash the like button make it turn blue as well as comment down below what is your opinions on this theory about workhorse short squeeze as well as subscribe to the channel and if you guys want my buy and sell alerts in real time every time i make moves in stocks options or crypto we've been killing it over there Check it out, link down below in the description and in the pinned comment, as well as get up to $70 in whatever free stock that you want using the link for public. It is literally free money and no need to even link a bank account. Now, with that being said, just taking a look at Workhorse, they got absolutely destroyed on Friday, and that might be an understatement, down 11.65%. I do have a trade in this that got absolutely destroyed as well. I'm not too worried about it because I do think the short squeeze is going to happen. Now, first things first, I want to jump over to the Ortex data because this is where it gets very interesting. Now, we do have a borrowed shares of 6.15 million, return shares or shares that were covered of 146.8 thousand shares but this is you have to factor in the t plus two so transaction day plus two days to fully settle the trade so this data is really reflecting from wednesday or uh, june 2nd and if we do take a look at what actually happened june 2nd pull it out to the one week right here this is when we were up about 13 to 14 percent so we did have a lot of shorts actually uh, take on short positions and we have to wait till monday guys to get the short data for the third because that is where we really started to rally and this is where we will want to see if more shorts continue to short workhorse or if some actually covered so we won't know this data until monday but i do recommend you guys subscribe to the channel and follow this with me because i'm going to be following this through the whole course because like i said i do think they're going to short squeeze and i think this will be good now with that being said and that is very very important guys we have to see the data on monday to really confirm what is going on here if they are shorting uh, continuing to short or if they did start to cover a little bit now with that being said, I do want to move over to some of the, well, actually, I do want to go over some of the other data. We have free flow on loan of 43.17%, shares on loan of 49.64 million, uh, utilization of 95.39%. So most of the shares, only 5% of shares that, in, that uh, institutions are willing to lend out are not lent out so 95 percent of those are already lent out now something else i do want to point out to you guys that i find very interesting when i was actually doing some due diligence you could see november 13 2020 is when they had their highest number of shares that were sold short and that was 39.19 million it says current short interest estimated of 35.53 million this is second so this is not the highest we've ever had but it is almost the highest we have ever had on workhorse now i do want to specifically take a look at november 13th the date uh that this actually did happen where is november 13th november 13th this is right before we started to short squeeze going from 19 dollars 22 cents all the way up to $28.78. That was a pretty good gain if you do uh, ask me or if I do say so myself. Now, after that, we did see shorts cover. November 30th, it came in at 25.81 million shares. So we did see shorts cover right there. I just find it quite interesting that once you do get to that all-time high, you see something come out. I'm not sure if there was a news catalyst or whatever that came out then, but you do see shorts start to cover at that point. Probably because they realize they're going a little too crazy shorting the stock now as far as the news and why workhorse fell on friday it is very stupid if you do ask me myself cohen downgrades workhorse 
calls latest move a meme stock spike so it did get a downgrade and i'm gonna see if i can find an article real quick that we can actually see exactly uh what what he said or downgraded it to uh we make no changes to our estimated 13 dollars price target and see no major near-term catalyst to buy for buy shares further um part of a rally for meme stocks going says yeah so nothing too crazy here and one thing i do want to point out is these analyst downgrades they do have a short-term impact on the stock it's usually a one-day event so you usually get the downgrade that comes out nine times out of ten it comes out in the morning and then you see a sell-off throughout the rest of the day and then after that first day it's not a big factor going into the future so that is why i do think we were down Friday in workhorse I don't expect this to be the trend going into the future so all is good there that's I mean there's nothing to worry about down 11% we've had a major rally going from about nine dollars looking at the technical analysis about nine dollars 71 cents all the way up to eighteen dollars 33 cents on the high but that was only a high-end wick guys look at that wick we had uh 97 million 97 and a half million in volume in the first two hours of uh june 3rd so just ton of volume that is why we really seen that wick up and that's why we really have to see if they did cover some shares right here so that is why that will be crucial but for a median level we went up to about 15 dollars. that is kind of where we were juggling with about 15 dollars on the low end about 14 dollars, and that's where we see a solid consolidation around the 14 i thought we'd hold up a little bit better but these downgrades they do have an impact like i said short term on the stock but we are still very, very bullish, guys. The 50-day moving average is well above the 200-day moving average. This is the orange line above the blue line. So that is a bullish indicator right there. So I don't think it looks bearish by any means on the technicals. Now, as far as the MACD, we do see that is bearish. Uh, it's starting to curl up a little bit on the CCC line. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but if you guys don't know about the MACD, when this yellow line, the CCC line is under the blue signal line, that does signal outflows and a bearish downtrend. When the CCC line is above the blue line, that signals a bullish uptrend or possible bullish uptrend. And a lot of traders do look to this because it is very on point with the moves that the stock actually makes. You can see uh, June 2nd, we went bullish on the MACD and then we had this insane rally we were all the way bullish until friday until friday we did go negative in the macd and after hours and then throughout the rest of the day we were negative on the macd and that is pretty much a given we did sell off quite a lot now as far as the rsi we are actually curling back up might be hard to see that as well but we are actually curling back up we're kind of in the middle we're not overbought we're not oversold so nothing too crazy here that currently sits at 53.23 as far as potential downside after this massive rally like i said i will say this again the data on monday will be extremely important with workhorse so make sure you guys are subscribed if you do want to stay up to date with this but i do think potential downside as of right now we currently sit at 13 dollars five cents i do think it's at about this range but i would go as far as to say about 12 dollars 50 cents i will go ahead and mark this right now not saying we couldn't go under this but if we do i would be surprised uh, given the short interest and the attention that it does have relative to the sell-off that we did see and that kind of hurts momentum but i do think overall it is still intact and i will put a 12 dollar lower end support level to be watching for that is where we really started to get some gas in this first candle uh and that was only 2.2 million so you could see the difference between you know the first candle we did get of gas in after hours june 2nd that was only 2.2 million and then we got a two hour candle of 97 million so uh if we do start to get this volume back it'll be very very good as far as potential resistance levels it's going to be at about 15 dollars 50 cents if we do pass that with a lot of bullish momentum it could be very very good why did i do a trend line but it could be very very good guys and that is really what i will be watching for it'll take a bit of a move to get back there but overall i do see this as just a consolidation period now i do want to go to a more upper end resistance level 
and you can see this is pretty much where we were consolidating around at about this 13 12 13 dollar mark before short sellers really got the best of the stock and we fell down to seven dollars and one cent as far as a more upper end resistance level at about sixteen dollars we start to get some resistance but definitely around our highs we've seen see we topped out eighteen dollars fifty eight cents that was on March 16th, and then we just topped out at $18.33. So that is where I'm going to go ahead and put my upper end resistance level. Somewhere in the middle, I'll see what looks more feasible. About $18. That's kind of a psychological resistance level as well. So that does look like the upper end resistance level. But all really does look good here, guys. I wouldn't be too concerned about what happened whatsoever to be quite honest that is given with these analyst downgrades that do come out but we are just pretty much consolidating around and before i do forget i did want to point this chart out and this is workhorse and they are in the blue i do believe yeah they are in the blue and ash Oshkosh, Oshposh, however you say it the the company that got the contract that workhorse was all hyped up about that workhorse was believed to get the contract and then it went to this other company they have been totally diverging workhorse uh, or Osh Oshkosh came down as soon as workhorse started to shoot up and they've literally been inverting ever since so I want to watch this and see what Osh Oshkosh Oshposh whatever it is called what kind of moves they do and see the correlation between workhorse because I noticed this on Friday and I think this could be a good indicator maybe to some news maybe Maybe insiders have some uh, insight that we don't as far as this contract because I know Workhorse has been def uh, disputing this. So if it does come out, Workhorse is getting the contract, and this is totally speculation, then Workhorse will be going to the moon 150,000% chance. So that is just something that I have been watching. I wouldn't hold my hat to it. It's just a bit of a speculation on my part, but I do think these charts here are quite interesting. None, none the least. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys understand where Workhorse does stand as far as the short squeeze. I do think it is very, very likely we have to get some level of hype back into Workhorse or a good news or a catalyst or something, or just people start to turn their heads and say, hey, Workhorse is prone to a short squeeze let's jump into this if none of those factors do happen i think it could be a slow melt up from here but i don't expect to trend downwards again so with that being said it also it'll be interesting to see what that the data does come out for monday as far as how many shorts did cover when we went all the way up to 18 dollars. if not too many shorts did cover then that'll also be a good sign now with that being said i'm gonna wrap up the video you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend if you want to be a part of my buy and sell alerts check out the link down below in the description as well as get up to 70 dollars in whatever free stock that you want using the link for public it is very easy to do no need to link a bank account or deposit any money you can e even connect or link a debit card or credit card so no reason not to do that that is just free money down there if you guys want to until next time i will see you later take care